Today, we are going to be having a look at the new security camera by iMU, the Bullet 2. So let's start by taking a look what you get in the box. So you get a quick start guide, along with some other safety documentation, a little guide for wall mounting on the wall. You get the camera itself, which feels very high quality. It's quite heavy as well. You get the power supply, some waterproof connectors, and finally, mounting screws. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install the iMU Life app. So this is available on the App Store and the Google Play Store. There's also a handy little QR code in the box and on the guides that you can download this from as well. So you're going to want to make an account and accept any permissions that the app is looking for as this will be needed to set up the camera. So go ahead and create an account if you don't have one already. You can also log in with Facebook to make it even easier. Then you're going to want to plug the power into the camera with the included cable and the camera will then go through its boot sequence. So the light will flash red and you're gonna to wanna to wait until it starts to flash green. This means it's ready to start setting up. So go back into the app and you're gonna to wanna to click the little plus button in the top right hand corner, then click scan QR code. So you wanna give it permissions again because it needs to use your camera. And then you're gonna to want to scan the QR code on the camera itself. So you might need to turn on the light like I did here to actually get the scan. But once that's done, it'll start setting up. So you're going to want to click next and then you want to double check that the camera is flashing green and you can go ahead and click next again. Now the app is going to search for the device and actually connect to its own internal Wi-Fi to be able to set up. So go ahead and click connect when it finds the device. Now you'll be asked to choose the Wi-Fi you want to connect the camera to. Just make sure this is a 2.4 gigahertz signal as this is all the camera will work with. It will not connect to 5 gigahertz. So go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi password and click next. The device will then begin setting up and connecting to the Wi-Fi. This can take a few minutes, so just be patient and let it sit and do it. So once it's connected successfully, you'll see a screen like this. You can name the device if you desire, and then just click done. And that's it. You can also get a free trial here for some cloud storage if you want, which I would recommend because cloud storage is very useful. And that's pretty much the setup of the device done. You can now view the camera remotely in the app. And as you can see, there's also a firmware update for the camera, which I would also recommend doing. This is very quick and easy as well. You just click update and the camera will run through the update itself. Once the update's done, the camera will restart. So just give it a little minute to connect to the internet again and you'll be good to go. And that's the general setup of the app done. Very quick and easy and very easy to follow along. If you do get any problems with the app, then there are a few status codes on the device that you can look at. So these could be a red light, which means the device is booting or it has malfunctioned. A flashing red light, which means the network connection has failed. A green flashing light means it's waiting for the network or to be set up. A solid green light means everything is okay. And a green slash red flashing light means the firmware is updating. So let's have a quick overview of what you can actually do on the app. So you've got the camera itself. All the cameras you will add will be listed here. So if you click into it, the camera will load up. And you can also have multi-view of different things. So just on the general ones here, you've got a pause button. You can pause and play it. You've also got this little button. The second little symbol is you can have the multi-views. You can add more cameras into one view. So you can just turn that off again. And you can also swipe through all the cameras you've got. Next, we've got the HD and SD options. So this just toggles between standard definition and high definition. So you've then got the volume which you can listen in on the device. And you've also then got a full screen button. Below that is then snapshot, which you can take a picture with. And that just saves to your local files. You can then speak into the camera, which the camera has a built-in microphone. So you could have two-way communication with someone on the other side. You can also record, which will record whatever you're watching right now. And that will also save to your phone. You've then got siren, which I'll play a little clip off because it is very loud. And you've also got spotlight, which turns on a spotlight on the camera. So the spotlight just flashes, so I suppose if you had an intruder or something like that, it would warn them that you're actually there and show them the camera. So then into the settings part of the camera, 
So this is all the settings for the camera. So you can have your cloud storage for all your, all your recordings. Share the device with another user, someone in your family perhaps. A list of the features, which just gives you a general overview of the camera and what it can do. Um, notification settings, so you can turn on or off notifications. Detection zones, so you can have motion detection, human detection, how it set a schedule, how sensitive it is, and stuff like that. Your alert tones for the siren and alarms. Cloud storage again, which you can link. You can also put an SD card in the device to have local recording. Then the spotlight settings. So you can have spotlight detection activated. Night vision settings. Again, if you want the device to record audio or not. Sharing your device again, and then your wireless settings in here, which will just show all your Wi-Fi again, which you can change. Then we get into more. So we've got status light you can turn on or off. Device beeping you can turn on or off. If you want to rotate the device, perhaps you can do that. You can have TLS encryption, and um, you can set the time zone, date format, and then obviously restart device if you're having any problems. And then at the bottom again, you can delete device if you need to. So guys, that's it for this setup video and tutorial of the iMU Bullet 2 camera. So it really is an easy device to set up that's packed full of really good features at a low cost. So if you guys would like to check it out, there will be a link in the description. And if you do happen to pick the camera up and you do need any assistance or help, please do drop a comment below or I'll also put a link to the IMU support service in the description as well. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and I'll see you all in the next one.